Today we're going to introduce the features added by using the Active Report format for your content. The Active Report format for reports, charts, and documents enables a number of offline analysis features, including the ability to sort, filter, and reformat content at runtime. Active Technologies can be applied to any report and any chart type. To enable Active Technologies features, simply change the format to Active Report. When you run an active report, menus become available for each column. These menus allow you to sort, filter, and rearrange the columns, view the data as a chart, or aggregate the data in various ways. The menus for numeric fields have slightly different options than those for alphanumeric fields. You can click Visualize to show data bars for a numeric field. Numeric fields also have more aggregation options than alphanumeric fields. You can also click a cell to filter by the value in that cell, add a comment to the cell, or highlight its row. There are also numerous ways to visualize the data. You can quickly generate a chart by using one of the ready-made options in the chart menu, or you can use the chart roll-up tool to create your own chart. Drag fields over to show any of the data from the report that you want to see in chart form. If the report is especially large, it will be separated into multiple pages that you can navigate using the buttons at the bottom of the page. Charts can also make use of active technologies. You can point to an area of the chart to view a tooltip. This tooltip will allow you to filter the chart and, if auto-drill or auto-linking is enabled, drill up and or down in the data or link to configured, related content. You can also lasso an area of the chart to filter on or exclude the values contained in the lassoed area. Finally, you can combine multiple content types into a document using Active Technologies, known as an Active Dashboard. An Active Dashboard will run any chart or report in the Active Report format, even if the chart or report is imported as a different output format. Active Dashboards also allow you to add controls, enabling users to filter components on the dashboard at runtime. You can add various types of controls from the Insert tab. To link the controls to your charts or reports and fill them with selectable values, right-click the control that you want to add values to and click Properties. Select the report or chart and the field that you want to take control values from. The selected report or chart is automatically added as a target. If you'd like to find out more, check the resources available in our Information Center.